nobody cared much about efficiency. But Chrysler's engineers could see the writing on the wall. Fuel economy was going to matter eventually. And turbines, despite their advantages, weren't great on fuel in real-world driving. Yes, they were efficient at highway speeds, but Americans do a lot of stop-and-go driving, a lot of idling, a lot of short trips, all scenarios where turbines are inefficient. Chrysler ran the numbers. If fuel prices increased significantly, turbine cars would be at a real disadvantage compared to conventional engines, and they were right to worry. Ten years later, the oil crisis would hit, and fuel economy would become number one priority. Fourth, and this is the one that often gets overlooked, there was the dealer network. Chrysler had thousands of franchise dealers across America. These dealers made money on service. Oil changes, tune-ups, valve jobs, transmission work, all the regular maintenance that cars of the era required. 